Hey everyone, Chris Suchdev here from Marine Data Center at Florida State University and today we're going to go over getting your raw ELG files from your SAMOS event into the SAMOS data format. We're doing this in the case that the SAMOS mailer is not working and you need to get your data to the SAMOS team. Big thanks to Deb Smith from the Falcor for providing the Excel workbook to make this all possible. Here's a look at what you'll need for this. You have your Excel workbook which has the four different sheets, your how-to instructions which we're going through in this video, the ship info sheet, the data from ELG sheet, and the format save as CSV sheet. Also we have the SAMOS event data, uh, mainly that ELG file which has the uh, raw event logger data. And at the top you can also see we have the ELG file already open. Alright, let's get right into it. Uh, first we're going to fill out the ship info sheet with your ship's call sign. I'm using a dummy one here called WSCS. The next step is to open the ELG file from your event data SAMOS folder and copy and paste the contents of that ELG file into the data from ELG sheet. So I'll switch over to the data from ELG sheet. I'll go over to my file and select all and copy all of that data, then go back over to the Excel spreadsheet and paste the data into it. Now make sure that you have cell A1 selected before you paste. You'll see that the contents get pasted in, but they're all in column A and they're not spread out into the different cells like we need. Our next step is to fix that problem by using Excel's text to columns function. You can find that by going to the top menu ribbon and selecting data and then text to columns. On step one of three, we want to have delimited radio button selected, then we'll click next. Then on step two, you want to check the box next to comma and you'll see below that the data now gets put into columns. Then on step three, we want to select text for the format. You can click each column, then select text, or to make it quicker, you select the first column, then we're going to scroll all the way over to the right to the last column with data. Hold your shift key, and then select the last column. That'll select everything in between the first and last columns. Then you can click text format, and it will apply that formatting to all the selected columns. Now it's important to note here that the spreadsheet will only work if your SAMOS designator is a single phrase and it follows the SAMOS-designator-value format. You can see here that ours follow that format, but if yours don't, then go ahead and make those changes to the column headings now. On this next step, we're going to break down the data into daily chunks and save each of those daily chunks as their own file. Now you don't have to break down the data into these chunks as the SAMOS processing system can process up to 7 to 10 days worth of data at a time. If your ELG file contains more than one week of data, go ahead and break the data down into manageable chunks so that the SAMOS software can properly process the data. So we'll start at the top left and click and hold and work our way over to the last column that has data in it. You can drag the mouse all the way down but you can see it moves very slowly. So another option is to hold down that shift key again and use the page down button on your keyboard to go down. You'll just keep hitting page down as you're holding that shift key until you can see the next day's data starting in column C. You can use your up and down arrows to go to the exact ending of that daily data. Once you have all of the day's data selected, you can click the plus button at the bottom of the spreadsheet to create a new sheet and paste the daily data into that new sheet you just created. We'll rename that sheet to the day's date so we can easily tell what we have created. Now we're going to go back over to that format save as CSV sheet and we're going to scroll down to where we stopped our copy from earlier then copy the next day's worth of data. Again holding shift and using page down and your arrow keys to get that fine tuning. You'll continue this process until you have all your days accounted for. Then our final step will be to save those daily sheets as their own CSV file. Select the sheet for the first day, then go to File and Save As. Under Format, you want to select CSV as the file type. Then for the file name, we'll put the ship code along with the date. Once you click save, it'll give you a warning about only being able to save one sheet at a time, which is what we want, so you'll click save active sheet. Then it'll give you another warning about losing formatting that was in the original Excel document, which is also fine, so we'll click continue. 
Now I'll just repeat this process until we have all of those daily sheets saved as their own CSV file. That was it for today. If you have any questions about the process, feel free to email samos at coaps.fsu.edu and a technical staff member will get back to you.